morning and welcome to the Tizen Developer Event 2013. Uh, I'm the last keynote presenter, so it's always uh, the person that needs to connect all the concepts and all the great discussions we've had in the early keynotes. I'm Jux Ravalia, and uh, for the most of my career, I've been in mobility, and now I work at Yandex at our Palo Alto office. So I'm sure all of you by now know something about Tizen. It's open source, we love open source, most of our projects are on open source. It's standard best, we promote standards, we love standards, that's why each one of us is able to communicate with a cell phone regardless of the carrier and the network. And it spans across a multitude of devices ranging from tablets, infotainments, and maybe in the future, the restrooms that was just up on the slide. But I don't know how many of you know about Yandex, so I'll take a few minutes at the beginning uh, to tell you a little bit about our company. So just by the show of hands, how many of you have heard about Yandex? Quite a number, thank you. So Yandex is one of the largest internet companies in Europe. We support the largest search community in Russia, and we operate not only the most popular search engine, but the most visited website as well. We are headquartered in Moscow, Russia, with offices uh, in several parts of the world, including Yandex Labs in Palo Alto, and an office in Switzerland. And our services are offered in the CIS region, and we just recently launched our services in Turkey as well. We are globally in the terms of having a global search index and we trade publicly on NASDAQ in the US. Over the past decade we've been the leading search provider in Russia holding up to a little more than 60% of the search market share. We serve nearly 200 million search queries a day and we have 95 million unique visitors uh, monthly on our site. We see ourselves as a tech company, so even though we have more than approximately 5,000 in our team, the majority, more than 3,000, are engineers working on web crawling, machine learning, ranking, and many other web technologies that can fuel powerful user experiences. Currently, Yandex is absolutely seen as one of the such providers in the world. But I've put up a slide to just show you some of the local such providers and some of the global such providers across the world. This slide here is to show you two broad concepts. The first concept is about choice and the second about local experiences. So choice is important in that the end users get more powerful and much better services at the end of the day. But it's able to also fuel local experiences that help solve local problems of the daily user. Just two weeks ago I was in Europe and I realized that some of the search services or the web services in Europe were just not as good as the services that the Russian market has, and it's because of competition. So this slide might think it's just purely about competition, but choice and competition are able to drive innovation and a dynamic ecosystem that keeps up each alternative solution at the very best that they can offer. And this is exactly the same with mobile platforms as well. This slide is to show that it's not just about having a presence in local, but once you launch some technology locally, you're able to take that innovation and provide a global baseline offering. Of course, there'll always be the smart people, the smart developers, the smart companies 
able to take this basic innovation and enhance by providing local solutions. But this slide shows that we do have a global index that we've cropped globally. And we provide this global index asset in form of a rich content APIs. So the developer comes to us with a URL and we're able to tell you a lot more about what the URL means. The metadata of the URL, what it connects to, what's important. And a lot have been talked today about HTML5 apps. With HTML5 apps, you can use our rich content APIs to build powerful user experiences. In fact, we also house in safe browsing APIs, so we know which URLs are safe. And this ties very closely to the concept of security in Tizen. Yandex, as many of you haven't heard about, we are a leading technology company. And even though we are a brand within the CIS market, we see ourselves as a technology company globally. And there are a good number of technologies that uh, we brought to the market. There are a good number of technologies that we're building. And since the early days, such engines have embraced machine learning technologies. Imagine where you're getting 200 million such queries a day, and half of these are absolutely unique queries, then the search engine has to make decisions based on its past experience. That is, it's got to learn itself. And this machine learning technology, even though different search engines will employ their own such technology, we call ours MatrixNet. And MatrixNet is able to take a wide range of factors, and we're talking of tens of thousands of factors, to help increase the relevance of, self, of, of such results. Our behavior analytics technology is called Crypta and is also based on our machine learning technology. We've got machine translation, we've got geolocation, and we've got many other web services that I can drill into. But to focus more on the mobile parts, there's a lot that has been told in the keynote about connectedness. There's the support for various devices and is connecting the various forms of data to provide powerful experiences. This is where our technology comes in. Big data has become a big buzzword, but there's a lot of reality to big data. We're used to processing web scale data day in, day out. Our big data software service is called Yandex Tables, and it employs the MapReduce processing paradigm. And on top, we give the Yandex FML, which is the big data analytics, so that you can get the value of the big data that your companies, the developers would like to address to add value to the various verticals in today's industries. We also have a multi-platform mobile UI engine that used to fuel SPB shell for those that have already familiar with on multiple other platforms that has worked with operators and OEMs alike. So when we come to mobile, Yandex has a good slew of 27 mobile applications ranging from navigation, maps, mails, disk, you name it. Indeed, the question is, we are a mobile company. Even though we focus a lot on the cloud, the cloud helps us build really powerful user experiences, and 90% of the internet users in Russia use our navigation and maps, for example. So to tie in all that has been said by the keynotes today, I'd love to somehow bring a few concepts together and tie them to the power of the cloud. And to start with, we believe in the concept of think big, start small. And so we'd love to think globally, but we've got to act locally. And once you act locally and you address a particular problem, the market works pretty well in taking whatever has been learned and scales it globally. And this, we believe, is important 
for mobile users, for the entire ecosystem, to bring the dynamic power and the intelligence in the world to each one of us combined. So one of the concepts that was discussed today was about the web dynamic box runtime framework that you're able to do powerful on the real estate of your home screen. So here, we just show how using our APIs, you could build a good concept of showing all the different data on your right on your home screen. So you've got your co-ops, you've got your weather, you've got your stock trades. In fact, using machine learning, we do traffic jam prediction in Russia. So even the media, the TV, the radios in Russia will say that today's traffic jam index is X, where the X is given by Yandex prediction technologies. So using this is a good just concept of saying you can improve this not just on the smartphones and notebooks, but think of the cars. It's just at a glance you provide the overall information in a very powerful way from all the different web services combined. But there's even a much simpler concept on phones. So we'd love to call this the localized experience. So smartphones have grown much, much intelligent, but the dialer is such a core piece of everyone's smartphone that there's still a lot of room for improvement. When you look at people trying to source for information and go from point A to B, there's still a lot of ways that we could improve it. And here's just a concept of what we think could be done to the dialer. So you launch your context, no one really remembers the numbers anymore, and you start typing for what you're searching. So we start filtering your context first, but then we soon realize that you might be interested in something more perhaps a pharmacy. Knowing your location, we're able to filter right within your dialer the pharmacies that are close to you. And this is the next powerful thing that Tizen supports, not just native apps in C and C++, and not just web components in CSS, JavaScript, and HTML5, but hybrid apps, where you can bring the two concepts together. And so you're able to resolve and show the map of the place, where you are, how to get there, with a few more metadata about the place. And with the endless contact book that we have, not only can you add this number, but if somebody were calling you, you'd be able to resolve it right on the fly to know exactly who is calling you, from where is calling you, whether you should save this, whether you should call back, whether it's high priority. So this localized experience just shows one of an example of taking advantage of the powerful hybrid apps concept of Tizen with the cloud services to build good experiences. And the last piece, which I'd like to touch base is here before I try to summarize the talk, is about the Tizen store that was talked today. So we are writing apps for Tizen. We are bringing our maps, navigation, trains, metro onto Tizen so that the Tizen users have a good way, the basic fundamentals of using your smartphone. In our domestic markets, we create the maps ourselves. We bring the points of interest into place. We have the navigation. The traffic conditions in our, in our domestic markets are quite intense. We do a lot of prediction. And we also give to the people using public transportation an easier way to get around. But rather than just continue talking of the concepts of Tizen, one important piece that I wanted to say was the choice we at Yandex, working day in, day out with global competitors, feel is extremely good. There's a good saying in the paradox of choice that autonomy and freedom are crucial to our well-being. And choice is also good for freedom and autonomy. When there's choice, the end users will pick the right player, what suits them. This helps bring a free market, and a free market helps build competition. Competition ushers in innovation, whether it's local, that can then be harnessed globally. And when we talk of innovation, 
one of the best assets of innovations are the developers. There's only so much that actually one company or a handful of companies can do. In fact, the mass majority of mobile users are the agents of innovation. If you study them, you'll figure out numerous ways of helping solve real problems that we face day in, day out. Since companies are not dispersed so well to study these problems, it's the developers that are in close knit with these end user communities. And each one of you, with your own user community, is able to study the users, build very innovative solutions, and come up using numerous technologies with ways to give solutions to the entire global mobile ecosystem. So we feel choice is great. We feel end users are great agents of innovations, but without the developer ecosystem, there is no good way of connecting the dots to harness the intellectual power of the masses. And this is the power that the next generation mobile ecosystems have been able to build to improve and transform lives globally. And in short, by just connecting all this, we've realized at Yandex that even though the global competitors that we compete with in our domestic markets, choice has been good to keep everyone energetic, to keep innovations in place, and to raise the bar day in, day out. And in that, I'd like to thank all of you for coming to the keynotes. Please enjoy the show. Have an eventful, productive event and see you at the breakout sessions. Thank you.